This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. How are you today? Me? I'm at war. Yep, definitely at war. With those people who keep calling me with foreign accents that say, Hello, this is Microsoft Windows Support calling about your computer. First of all, how do they even know I have a computer? Now, I understand that most people have computers now, and some have many. And I usually have fun with these people, and I tried to do that again yesterday by, you know, leading them down the garden path. They ask about my computer. I say, which one? They say, the one you use for the internet. I usually tell them I have like 17 computers, and which one were they talking about? And they would say, the one you do your banking on. And I tell them things like, oh, I don't do banking on my computers. Oh, well, what about something else, they'll say. And I'll say, well, can you give me the IP address of the computer? And of course they can't because they're not linked to my computer in any way, shape, or form. What they try to have you do is guide you through your computer and, ha and give them access to it so they can uh, supposedly fix the problem that they've discovered. But there is no problem. What they do is they implant viruses and malware on your computer during their remote control session so they can continue to call you back and charge you each time they fix something. It goes for like $150 a call if you actually allow them to control your computer. Now, what happens is, you know, they'll call you, they'll fix the problem that they found and charge you $150. Then in a couple months, they'll call you back and say, hey, you know what, we've discovered more. And they just keep leading you down the garden path. Well, this is what happened yesterday. I got a call from one of these phony Windows support people, and they were telling me that there's a problem with my computer. I went down to my standard line and said, which one? I have 17. And so he said, well, any one of them is fine. So I said, well, I figured I'd go a different way. So I said, okay. Well, what's wrong with it? He says, well, you need to go to your start menu. So I said, okay. Now, I didn't go to my start menu, but I said, okay, on the phone. He says, now you got to click run. So I clicked run. Well, I told him I clicked run. I didn't really do anything. I was just sitting there on my couch. So then he says, okay, what does it say on your screen? And I said, oh, there's lots of words on my screen. He said, well, no, no. With the run, what does it say? And I said, oh, I can't tell you that. And he said, oh, no, you have to if I'm going to help you. So I said, no. He said, what do you mean, no? I said, no, I'm not going to tell you what's on my screen. He got rather upset. And in his foreign accent, he swore at me, called me a very nasty name, and hung up. That's the first time that has happened. So I think from now on, when they call, I'm just going to say, no. And I could tell them to take me off their list, but they certainly won't. But no more will I be leading them down the garden path and having fun with them and confusing them, which I have found in the past to be so much fun. But if they're just going to swear at me and call me nasty names, I really don't have time for them. And please, don't fall for that. Microsoft does not know what your computer is doing they do not look and see if you have any malware or any viruses. If someone calls you on the phone and says they're going to help you with your computer, hang up on them immediately. If your computer is not working correctly, take it to a reputable company and have them fix it. Do not have anybody over the phone who calls you out of the blue fix your computer. They'll steal your information. They'll plant viruses. It will be a disaster. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV and Tech Dive TV Help Desk. You have a great day.